Hi, how are you, Suma? I am fine, Sonia. What about you? I am fine too. So school has started again, and how was your holiday? My holiday was amazing. I went for a family picnic and visited a few of my relatives. That seems interesting. Where did you go for the picnic? We went to Rajasthan. We stayed there for three days in a resort. We spent a night camping near a desert. So you have done so much adventure. Yeah, that was adventurous. After completing our tour to Rajasthan, we went to one of our uncle's place to meet him. He was inviting us to meet him. What have you done on holiday? I visited my uncle and grandmother in the village. How was your visit? That was so much fun. I have lots of cousins there. I love meeting and spending time with my cousins. My grandmother is an interesting person. She knows lots of stories. Every night we have listened to lots of stories from her. That is a good experience for me. It seems your holiday was also amazing. Yeah, it was. Thanks for sharing your experience. You are welcome, Sonia. Take care. See you. Oh, it feels so cold this morning. It sure is. Early this morning, my car's windshield was covered with frost. I had to spray it with water before I could head to school. Who would have thought it could be this cold in early December, especially in California? I know. The temperature was 35 degrees Fahrenheit when I woke up this morning. I was freezing as soon as I got out of bed. The cold weather just hit me by surprise. I cannot remember when it was this cold in early December. Brace yourself for the rain this afternoon. Cold and wet, yuck. It is going to rain this afternoon? Not only this afternoon, but also the rest of the week. Oh, it is going to be miserable. I have a full class schedule today and tomorrow. To walk from class to class, I will have to juggle my books and my umbrella trying not to get wet. You carry too many books. Why don't you leave some of them in your locker? My locker is a long way from my English classes. This is the reason why I carry all my books with me. Is it going to rain hard or just drizzle? The news said that it would start to drizzle around noon, and then it would rain really hard by three o'clock. No hope for better weather this week? There is a slim chance of sunshine by Saturday. However, it will be foggy, windy, and rainy before the sun comes out this weekend. I am glad that it rains even though I do not like rainy weather. We have a very dry season so far this year. Yes, I can hardly remember when it rained last time. Well, as long as there is no thunder or lightning, I can bear it. We rarely have thunder or lightning in California. We are very lucky that California has one of the best weather conditions in America. When it is hot, it is not humid. When it rains, there is no thunder or lightning, and the cold weather during the winter season is quite mild compared to the weather of the other states. Yes, we are lucky. However, sometimes when I look at the Christmas pictures, I just wish we had some snow. It looks so pretty when everything is covered by a blanket of pure white snow. Living in Southern California all my life, I have never seen snow. I would not mind playing in the snow once in a while. Yes, it would be fun to make a snowman or go skiing. We have never seen snow, we have never made a snowman, and we have never gone skiing. We better do something about this. Maybe we should plan a trip to Aspen, Colorado during winter break. I heard that the skiing season is fantastic up there. I don't think we can afford a trip to Aspen. It is very expensive up there. I am just wishing. I know what I will be doing during winter break. 
I will be working very hard to save money for a new car. With the cars that we drive, it is better that we live in a place where there is no snow. You are right, we are better off with no snow. Okay, I have class right now, see you later in the library. See you later, I, I am Tom. I am Jack. This is a pretty good seminar so far, huh? Yes, I like it. Prentice Hall always delivers good seminars. All of its speakers are very well known and also very knowledgeable in the subject matter. Did you attend the seminar on leadership in Long Beach last January? No, I missed that one. Who was the speaker? John Miller. He is the author of The Seven Habits of a Good Leader. It was a great seminar. John gave us tons of information on how to deal with employees. You should sign up for that seminar next year. I will. I am very interested in the subject of leadership. I was promoted to the position of supervisor a few months ago, and I have to manage a staff of 10 people. It can be quite a difficult situation sometimes. It is the reason why I am here today. Same here. I only have seven people reporting to me, yet, sometimes I feel like pulling my hair out. I need to find a way to create harmony and cooperation within my department. I also need to learn how to better manage my workload. I always run out of time. It seems like the days are getting shorter and shorter. You need to sign up for the Learn How to Delegate seminar. It is coming next month. Let's see whether I will have any free time next month. I know sometime next month I will have to go to Texas on a business trip. By the way, what is your company doing? Oh, we produce office equipment such as calculators and fax machines. How about yours? We are in the service business. We specialize in repairing computers. How was business lately? It is pretty slow right now. Just like any other company, we are quite affected by this slowing economy. Business is slow with my company too. However, people are saying that it should pick up any time now. Let's hope so. We need to keep our employees busy. I have some very talented employees, and I would like to keep their minds sharp. They tend to be bored when things slow down, and that is not good. Yes, nothing is more frustrating than sitting idle with nothing to do. The days seem so long. I hate those types of days. Luckily, it is not that bad in our company. Besides, we are in the process of updating our computer system, and we can use this slow period to finish the process. Good for you. Oh, 10.30 a.m. already. I guess our break time is over. The topic of the next session, how to make positive impression on others and gain visibility and influence in the workplace, seems to be really interesting. We better not miss any part of it. Let's get back to our seats so that we can learn how to bring out the best in ourselves as well as our employees. Good morning, Nyla. How are you? Good morning. I am fine. What about you? I am fine too. So how was your holiday? It was amazing. Thanks for asking. How was your holiday? That was great too. So what did you do on this holiday? I went to visit my grandparents in my village and I have spent an entire week there. Oh, was the fun? Yes. It was a lot of fun. I have lots of cousins in the village and I really love to meet them. I went there for almost a year. Everyone came to meet with me and my family. This is a very good feeling. Whoa, this is so cool. So how your villages look alike? It's a small but very beautiful village near a river and on the other side there are big hills. It seems so beautiful. What have you done there? I visited the river, the hill with my cousins. 
We went on a journey by boat and enjoyed ourselves a lot. My entire family came together for a picnic in the jungle. Overall, that was so much fun. I am feeling so much excited hearing all these from you. I wish to visit a beautiful village like this. You are invited to my village with me on my next trip. Thank you so much, Nyla. Okay, talks to you later. Take care. Okay, bye. Hi, Tanya. How are you? I am great. What about you? I am fine. So, what is your future plan? What do you want to do after passing the final exam this year? Actually, I have a dream to become a doctor from childhood, and I am still on it. Way that's so good. What is your preparation? As you know, I am so good at biology, and I hope I will do a good result in the final. And everything is depending on the result. Why do you want to become a doctor? Actually, I am from a tiny village in Berlin. I spent my early childhood there, and I have seen the village life from so close. People suffer a lot because of lacking good doctors. Still, there are lots of problems. I want to work for them. That's a noble reason I love your thinking. Yeah, my parents are encouraging me to become a doctor, and they are going to help as much as they can. What is your plan? What are you going to be? I have a plan to study on architecture. I think I am pretty good at design and drawings. I have a dream to work in the construction industry too. That's an amazing plan. What was the reason behind choosing this particular profession? I am not sure. I just liked it. And I am reading lots of books related to the architect and the basics. I think I am going to enjoy professions. I love it, by the way. If you love something, then you just need to go for that. Yes, I think the same. That was a very nice conversation with you. I feel good to know your future plans. I loved it too. Take care and see you. Bye.